have seen my video where I get to announce that I shot for Sports Illustrated Swim for my second year. It also feels like just yesterday we were doing launch week, which basically consists of starting in New York, celebrating the launch of the magazine. This year it's extra big because it's the 60th year. Then we all take like a private plane down to Hollywood, Florida, where all of our family and friends can come, stay at the Hard Rock Hotel there, and we have more carpets and events and panels and meetups and ball gowns. It's just the craziest like four days of my life but I love it so much. I love to take the week before to really prep myself most importantly mentally. I've been struggling a little bit. I leave Tuesday to go to New York and then I will finish all my prep work there because there's like appointments and stuff I have there but I'm not gonna lie I'm being tested this week a little bit. I had to get my blood drawn yesterday, passed out while doing that. I'm also fighting a head cold and then I got my period last night, which isn't anything crazy, but the first day for me is actual hell. That's like why I'm getting my blood drawn because I need to figure out my hormones and what's going on. So we got a lot trying to squash our good vibes here, but I still got up. We went to 8 a.m. Pilates, got a matcha because I don't drink coffee when I'm cramping up. So I'm just gonna take you along different prep things this week. Okay, here is my little golfing outfit. I got this new skirt. It's so fun. I've been loving dressing up for golf. Moisturizer, I'm gonna add sunscreen. And then Aaron and I are gonna go make some hats at this really cool store, March and Magnolia downtown. <laughs> I just do a grande medicine ball tea. <laughs> Thank you so much, you too. So, my golf lesson got canceled because there's like lightning, which honestly I feel like it's happening in my favor because I need rest. I have a call with SI later today, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna go home and just chill before that and hopefully start to feel better. You guys, I have been so hard on myself today because nothing was going in my favor, literally at all. I was just mad at myself. I've literally been rotting on the couch all day after my failed golf attempt. Just don't feel good. My cramps hurt, but I'm not gonna just sit here and complain, but I definitely had to cancel some stuff that I really wanted to do to feel like I'm prepping, but you know what? My health is way more important. I was like just crying, like no food sounds good, being dramatic. My boyfriend just ordered some food to my door, which was very sweet. Got some sticky rice, which just sounds good. Anything like soothing right now since my sinuses are not doing well anyways i will see you guys tomorrow hopefully we're feeling good good vibes reminder that prepping for something doesn't always mean what you think it is sometimes it's literally letting yourself just like chill all right thank you boyfriend for the very sweet dinner i love you goodbye Hello everyone we have not received just one but oh my god ow. <laughs> two huge boxes of beautiful dresses that i am 
currently in possession of. I'm slightly terrified because there's so many dresses here, but this is one of the tougher parts about not being based in LA. My stylist, Jessica Pastor, who I've worked with for about a year now, we came up with some ideas for the two three-ish red carpet events that we have next week. And she was able to send me like 15 dresses to try on so we can narrow it down, see what needs to get tailored. I'm gonna bring the winners to New York get them done there. It's a little bit more of an experience because I'm not in LA, but it's worth it to be here and the quality of life I have here. So let's start trying these on. Well, everyone, here is dress number one. I was so excited about this one when I saw the pictures. I feel like the little, me whip my tail over. I feel like the colors are beautiful. It's giving very much Gold, 60th year, gold's a very celebratory color. I don't know, I like it a lot. Okay, please excuse my see-through underwear, but it is what it is. This one is stunning. I feel like it fits me like a glove. No tailoration, no whatever the word is, is needed for this one. I really do like this. I like the shape. This is definitely gonna be up there. This one is like very strappy and I just cannot figure out the straps right now. She's a little itchy though, but Kind of out of my comfort zone which might be kind of fun for this hmm this is gonna be really hard i don't feel like it's the one i say that now maybe i'll change my mind i don't really know guys this dress actually just took me 20 minutes to get into i don't even think you can see the fullness of her i don't know it's just really hard to decide like it's a beautiful dress i don't really know where these go i love like the side and like this whole thing i don't know Okay, let's open the other box. Well, I may have spoke a little soon. Yeah, this is my dress. This, this is my dress. I mean, there's no other way to put it. This is my New York 60th year SI swim dress. This is beautiful. This is, this is the dress. I literally feel like Belle, which is my favorite Disney princess. I'm in love with this dress. Oh my gosh, I'm in awe. And normally I'm not a big yellow girl, but like this is, this is beautiful. The last and final one I'm trying on because I feel absolutely nauseous now is this coral one, which I honestly think is really beautiful. I've never worn a color like this. And I think it actually makes me look like I kind of have boobs. So I feel like my top four is the white one, the yellow one, this one, and the navy one. And now we need to do some deciding and talking to people. So I will, I guess, let you know at lunch which ones I yesterday. I just was trying to have like a natural tanning relaxing day off my phone. I announced my return to SI yesterday. I was like, I'm just going to be off my phone and like go to the beach. It was my friend's birthday. I was putting on sunscreen. I was really thinking I was doing something and I came back so sunburnt. I think I had sun poisoning. Immediately got aloe on it. I just like slept a lot last night. Today is a productive day. We're going to go to Pilates, get microneedled, and then get our nails done and go to sweat house later for the sauna and cold plunge. Ugh, god damn it. You're so alone sometimes it starts to make sense On this side of paradise We're never concerned when the grass always green around the Well, we have one last day until we leave for New York tomorrow. I have Pilates, we need to go to CVS, get some last minute stuff. And then the goal is just to pack today, which I'm anxious about because I feel like I always forget something for something important like this. So that is our plan. I just went on like a three mile walk get the jitters out. I went to bed at like 10 last night. Aaron and I saw Challengers. Not what I was expecting, but a very good movie. It's just not the plot line that I guess I thought. But anyways, let's, let's have a good last day before the city in the morning. I just went to Trader Joe's because I needed to get all my snacks for the week. I feel like I never 
find good snacks in New York. It just stresses me out doing any grocery shopping there. So I got some good stuff for the hotel room, different flights, some meat sticks, protein bars. And now it's time to go on a mental health walk. I always know when it's time. Despite that being the most humbling, I think New York car ride I've ever had. I'm talking an hour and a half in just bumper to bumper traffic from good old JFK into Times Square. We made it, oh my God. For starters, we are double fisting the juice and coffee combo right now because we have a day ahead of us, let me explain. The pictures actually came out while I was on the plane. They came out at 825 Eastern and then we can post them at 125. At 824, we are descending into New York and when the Wi-Fi, when it hits 10,000 feet, the Wi-Fi turns off. I'm not kidding you, at literally like 8.23, boom, we hit 10,000 feet. So then I'm waiting another agonizing 20 minutes until we hit the ground, maybe a little bit less than that, but it felt like hours because we don't get to see any of our pictures. You don't know who the covers are. You don't even really know who's returning, but you don't really know who's coming back. So like there was so much to go through once you like hit that time frame and you can go on the website. It's just the most like out of body experience seeing these images of yourself. I'm like in awe looking at the ones of me. Like how is that? How is that Ellie, the girl that grew up on YouTube? Like, how is that her? So the agenda for today, we're gonna go work out at Aloe, get a good Pilates class in, and then I have a tailoring appointment to get the dresses back here fitted. And then we have a lash appointment to get, not a tint, but just a lift on my lashes at 4.30. Cheers, let's have a good day to the juice matching my shirt. Well, not really, but it's enough of a match, okay? Okay. <laughs> Chipotle. It just sounded so good. It was near my hotel and my phone was at 2%. So there I am trying to memorize New York and like my coordinates, which some people that live in New York think it's like a grid system and easy. I still have never mastered the damn grid. I get confused. I know the main areas of where I am, but I don't know how to get places without my phone. So that was an experience. First day complete. We just got my lashes done. I didn't tint them, but I just did like a little lash lift. I feel like it just like brightens my eyes, opens them up a little bit. My face is definitely still a little red from the microneedling. I had my tailoring slash fitting. We confirmed the three official dresses I'm gonna be wearing. And now we just need to get them perfectly fit to my body. So I'll be picking those up Thursday morning. Thank God I remembered a fork. That would have actually been the worst thing right now. All right, well, cheers to a first successful day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Swimsuit edition, model of the year. Ellie Zoom! How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Today is the last day before lunch. That's so crazy. I'm gonna get ready and go walk and get coffee, some breakfast. And then we have Pilates with my friend later and a lymphatic drainage massage. Might do a couple other things. The dresses get here at 1.30. It's gonna be a good day. So let's get changed and do it. <laughs> spray tan. I actually got it in the room, which was kind of funny because normally I am so used to like going somewhere, but naked in the room. It's always a humbling experience. You got the hair net in, but we did it. We're going to be nice and tan tomorrow. I got to hide it until then. So tomorrow I'm going to work out in the morning and then go see my friends for brunch. And then I'm going to start my actual SI launch 
video. So I'm going to end this one here. I love you guys. Thank you for prepping with me. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm just soaking it in. It feels like the night before Christmas. It's just like so surreal. But thank you guys. I love you. I'm going to take my probiotics, my melatonin, hit the hay. All right. I will see you tomorrow for launch week vlog. Okay. Goodbye.